Hey everybody, what is up? Just wanted to do a really quick video today uh, specifically about this. I built this. This is a UV curing station box, okay? So um, I just recently got this uh, Elegu Mars Pro um, and literally just got it like the sticker is still on the screen there. So I've only done um, a couple of prints and one of them uh, being this little bear I designed. Um, it's for my wife's uh, school that she teaches at, and it's their school um, mascot. So I thought it'd be cool to make those, maybe cast up some copies, and, um, you know, I don't know, maybe they can be used for, like, a fundraiser or something like that. But uh, uh, it just came out of the uh, resin printer whoop, over here, and I have washed it, and I took off all the supports and everything, and then I'm about to cure it. So let's talk about this box for a second. So I... Um, thought about just getting the light and the nail station and all that kind of stuff and then I saw some cool designs online and then I thought you know what I could probably make something uh, pretty simple so I've seen the ones with the paint can seen the ones with um, using the IKEA box and I thought okay well this this might be just sort of a quick fun project so what I did was um, I had some um, melamine shelving and it's 10 inches wide or sorry well it's 10 inches wide in the front 10 inches deep and it's 16 inches tall okay there's a reason for that which is um in the future i want to get um an elegu saturn and the elegu saturn is basically um, a printer similar to the mars but it's twice the volume and i so i wanted the resin curing station to be able to accommodate prints of that size so those prints are about i think like 7.8 by four or five inches by 7.8 um, and so all I did was I took into account the UV lamp um, that I got which is about two and a quarter um, inches tall so it's this 50 watt um, whatever you know 400 um, uh, rated UV B A I can't remember <laughs> um, UV backlight black light uh, I got off Amazon and um, it just basically I cut a hole um, I cut all this wood out um, so that again it's like a 10 by 10 box and then so then I can actually take this lamp out if I want to because I want to do some experiments with like brushing you know UV resin on 3d printed armor parts and that kind of thing and seeing if that works as a coating so easy to remove if I want to take it off if I want to use it for a party I can still do that um, and then the cool part is this drawer so it's it's instead of um, swinging out it basically slides out like a filing cabinet okay so you can pull it all the way out there's my little um solar powered uh, turntable there i'm gonna put my print inside okay little guy right there i'm just gonna slide this up a little bit and then you um slide it back in oops it's stuck out there okay slide that back in and then there's a switch back here that turns it on You'll see it come on. There it goes. And the cool thing about that, you know, they're just these really cheap, like $10, um, what do you call it, like little rotating turntables. And they're kind of made for like jewelry displays or little toy displays and stuff. Um, same thing, you can find them online. Um, it's battery powered or it could be solar powered. So because it's a UV light that's coming down, it's making it turn around. And um, it, I, as I understand it, you only need to put it in there for about maybe two minutes for a little small print and maybe up to five minutes for a bigger print. But um, yeah, it's kind of neat that um, just trying to accommodate for the fact that it'll, um, you know, accommodate bigger prints if, if I get that Elgu Saturn, because um, that's kind of the size that I want for sort of costume and cosplay stuff. But um, this works really, really well. And uh, so for the window here, I basically um, just cut a, a square or a rectangle with some rounded corners. And then I, I took those measurements and I went into Fusion 360 and I modeled like an outer frame and an inner frame and they just kind of sandwiched together and the back or the inner frame's got like a little bit of a thicker flange and then I got a piece of um, I was looking for colored acrylic and I couldn't find any so but what I had was I had an acrylic um, picture frame um, you know, it's one of one of those ones that just like leans on your your sits on your desktop and it happened to be almost that exact it actually was that almost that exact size it was about just like a quarter of an inch wider than this plastic frame and um, I put a piece of uh, car window tint, window tint film on the back, and it's actually a high rated um, UV, whatever protecting one for you to put in your car. So I thought, okay, well that will make do for now. Um, and it's probably just as safe as, uh, you know, the acrylic covers on Bros printers. So anyways, I hope you enjoy that. 
that is an easy way to make a UV curing station. All right, thanks for tuning in.